hi friends welcome back to this brand new video so in today's video i'm going to show you some of the newest products released by bon pretty store so this particular product is called as solid gel nail tips along with uh, metallic gel liners and few other items so before i start with the video if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel i post videos on nails nail art nail extension basically anything and everything related to nails so please consider subscribing and let's begin with the video at first let's have a quick look at the products that we have today so i have a total of five different products so uh, the highlight of today's video is the pro gel tips and uh, this is a quick and easy alternate for nail extensions so anybody can do basically that's what the claim is so we are going to test it and see how easy it is to apply and apart from the solid gel tips i also have uh, metallic gel liners this is also again a new launch by bon pretty store i have three different colors gold silver and a glittery one so we will test all these products and see how easy or difficult it is to work with in order to apply the tips uh, first thing we have to do is to measure the right tip for our fingernails and as you can see on the screen these tips are already pre-prepared so we don't have to really do anything apart from adjusting the length of the uh, tip but in the website you can find different uh, shapes of tips available different shape different length etc etc you can find uh, different types of tips on their website and right now I have selected all five nails uh, uh, as per my nail size uh, uh, when you select or when you measure the size just ensure that the tip is covering the entire nails and it's not big or it's not too small it has to be exact same fit so for the gel the one that i picked up is a transparent one however they have different colors available total five different colors are available and the one that i have is a clear one so this is how the gel looks like in the bottle For any extension, our first step is to prep the natural nail. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing back my cuticle. I do not have much to do here because I just took off my uh, acrylic extension. So my nails are almost really clean. So still I'm just doing a basic prep work. After pushing back the cuticle, I'm using a soft buffer just to buff off the shine from my natural nails. And after that, I'm going to apply a little bit of dehydrated and a little bit of primer this is optional uh, but if you want really long lasting uh, extension then it's better to have a little dehydrator and primer on your natural nails for the application technique i'll be going to follow the bon pretty tutorial as it is so i scooped up a little product onto the tip and then i am pushing it from the cuticle towards the free edge area so you can already see how the gel underneath it's moving towards the free edge of my natural nail plate and anything extra, uh, excess that is coming out of the uh, corners you can just clean it before you put it under for the curing uh, so that your cuticle area is clean and once this is done you can just cure it and your nails are secured so while doing this i realized that it's not that easy as what we see on the uh, social media platform it's a little tricky but uh, obviously you will figure it out after a couple of uh, attempts so again i did the same technique for uh, two or three of my fingernails and i was still struggling so i decided to try it in a different way so the middle finger also i tried the same manner so i scooped up a little product and then i tried to push it uh, towards the free edge of the nail and then i secured it uh, also when you are doing this just ensure that your tips are uh, straight it's not like pointing left or right and also it should not be pointing upwards or downwards so these are the things along with that uh, pressing you have to keep in mind otherwise you will end up with a uh, tilted nail so just do it right and it's not too difficult but it's not that very easy also so like i said the first technique was not very comfortable especially when it when i was pressing it it was too hard to move it so what i did i tried the polygel application technique a bit so i spread the glue a little bit and then when i was pressing it it was so easy to 
uh, place the nails just like that so I think this is a better way to do this at least for me uh, so once you do this you can cure it and then secure the nail so the same thing I repeated on my pinky as well so I spread the glue first and then I tried to repeat the same exact way to place the nail and after that clean any excess that is coming on uh, out of the nails and then you can put it under the lamp for cure so this way you can secure it and after securing it if you want you can chop off the length and then just buff off the shine before you apply any gel polish or any uh, designs or anything after buffing the surface shine you can apply a color coat and then you can also apply a top coat to seal it now that we have applied the color gel, let's do some nail art using the gel liners. So as I said, I have three different colors with me. One is silver, one is gold and then I have a glittery one. So the silver and gold, uh, that, those are the two I am going to show you first and then I'll show you the glittery one. The silver one looks like a, a diluted mercury <laughs> kind of stuff and the gold one is also like oil. I don't know how to explain this but they all looked very stunning. They have more different color colors varieties available uh, I'll leave all the links in the description box in case if you wanted to see so now let's quickly do a swatch and see how the intensity is these gels can be used as a gel polish as well as a drawing gel so I think it will be better if you use it as a uh, designer gel and the opacity is really good in one coat you can uh, completely cover the nail plate and it looks like it has a mirror finish but you have to leave it there for like a couple of seconds so that it settles down and my favorite uh, for the nails uh, this glittery ones are really good uh, intensity and these are holographic as well and application is very easy all three colors are really nice but gold and silver I think they are better for the drawing than applying it as a gel polish. Now that we have seen the swatches, let's just uh, try some designs using these metallic gels. So I'm going to just randomly draw some lines and try to do some designs using these gels. And when I was trying to do designs, just I wanted to say this thing, it is so easy to draw lines and things like that with this uh, particular liner. It doesn't move, so you don't have to really cure it in between. So normally when we draw lines and all, e after each line we have to do a free skewer so that it doesn't move but in this case um, the gel is really thick so that it doesn't move at all so you can take your time and you can do all your designs and then finally you can cure it all together so this is one random design that I have created but I will be posting more designs on my shorts or on the Instagram reels so if you are not following me on the socials uh, please do follow I have all the links in the description box and these products all the product codes and the links to purchase everything will be added in the description box so that you can check it out um, so uh, apart from this one design I also created a couple of more so I'm just going to show you all the designs um, and then I'll come back These are the few random designs I tried to create using these gels and more will be coming up on my uh, YouTube reel, uh, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. So if you're not uh, following me, please do follow. Um, so now when it comes to the gel uh, extension tips, I had it on for more than a week and the durability is really good. I even tried the press on but this one is better than press on. So if you want really long lasting nail extensions, uh, this is something that you can do 
on your own but remember you need a uv lamp to uh, make it work uh, and you can buy all these from bon pretty's website so now lastly i just wanted to see how to remove these tips so the first thing is you have to remove the polish whichever gel polish or uh, regular polish whatever you have file it off and then all you have to do is to use a remover pad and put it on for like 5 10 minutes and then you can just scrape it off and it comes off very easily so uh, removal is also super easy um, I think that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy this video all the links and everything will be in the description box so don't forget to check it out also uh, subscribe like share comment all those good things and I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you